A safe lab session starts with proper clothes. You must wear clothing and equipment that will protect you from chemicals and flames, and at the same time, stay out of your way. For example, sleeves that are too loose can drag through a chemical puddle or knock things over. The wrong material is also dangerous, as this mannequin demonstrates. Fuzzy sweaters or filmy fabrics can easily catch on fire. Synthetics such as polyester melt when they burn and stick to the skin. The right kind of clothing includes sleeves and shirts that fit fairly close, but aren't too tight to restrict movement. And fabrics made of sturdy cotton or wool that won't melt and stick to your skin. A lab apron keeps most splashes off your clothes. But you should still wear older clothes underneath in case any chemicals get past the apron. Legs are vulnerable to chemical splashes and broken glass if you drop something. So long pants or a long skirt should be worn to protect them. Open shoes can't protect your feet from spills. Closed leather shoes are much better. And shoes made of cloth or woven material can absorb spills and hold harmful chemicals against your skin. Besides wearing the right clothes, there are other precautions you should take to avoid accidents. Tie up loose, long hair. It could knock something over or even catch fire. Remove rings and watches. They can trap corrosive chemicals against your skin. And the chemicals can damage your jewelry. Your eyes are the easiest to hurt and the most important to protect. Don't wear contact lenses in lab. They may trap chemical vapors against your eyes. If that happens, your eyelids may go into spasms that make it impossible to remove the lenses and wash out the chemical. Always wear goggles with side shields to completely protect your eyes, even if you're already wearing glasses. And finally, protect your hands. Never use bare hands with concentrated acids, bases, or other reactive chemicals, such as concentrated hydrogen peroxide. Your teacher will tell you what type of gloves to wear to work with these chemicals. With the right clothes and protective equipment, you can work with laboratory chemicals with confidence and safety. Don't wear extremely loose clothing. Fabrics should be sturdy and natural. Wear older clothes and cover them with a lab apron. Wear long pants or a long skirt to cover your legs. Wear closed leather shoes to protect your feet. Tie up long hair. Remove rings and watches. Take out contact lenses. Cover your eyes with goggles with side shields. Protect your hands with the right kind of gloves. <laughs> A chemistry laboratory is full of beakers and bottles holding chemicals. Fooling around can have disastrous consequences. You could scar yourself or others for life, even cause blindness. So the most important rule of all in the lab is no fooling around. Don't run, push, or wrestle, or even move fast. Even if you're not fooling around, accidents can happen. Wait a second. Personal belongings in the middle of aisles can trip someone. Even a job as simple as reading a burette can lead to an accident. For greatest accuracy, your eyes should be on the same level as the number you're reading. If you can't read a burette accurately, lower it down to eye level. If you can't do that, 
stand on a step stool. There are behavioral rules to protect you against less obvious hazards, too. Applying makeup may seem harmless enough, but chemicals and vapors and spills in the lab can contaminate it. Then when you apply it to your face, you put on the chemical, too. So keep makeup outside the lab. Eating and drinking in the lab can cause similar problems. Chemicals can contaminate your food or splash into a drink. Guys, I think it's time to go to class. Oh, can't be. Get rid of them before you come into the chemistry lab. Don't fool around in lab. Keep aisles clear of personal belongings. Stand on a step stool when you have to reach. Keep makeup in your purse. Keep food and drinks outside. 